Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. Once again, it is me, Molt. So happy to be here with you guys, as always. And today we have another episode of one of my favorite series, guys. This is Clashing Culture. I'm so excited about this series. It is a lot of fun for me, and a lot of y'all have commented and said how much you enjoy it. Um, but today we have a very, very special version of Clashing Culture for you guys. Um, obviously, you guys like Clash of Clans, right? Yes. So that means you like Supercell, and if you like Supercell, then you like the chief executive of Supercell. His name is Ilka, I believe that's how you pronounce it, um, and today, guys, we are going to be photoshopping Ilka um, and turning him into a archer. Um, the funny thing about him is that he says that uh, he wants to be the least powerful chief executive in the world, and I guess he's doing that right now because he's relinquishing a little bit of power, um, even though he doesn't know about this, and I am going to be changing him up and making a lot of fun out of this video, guys. Um, but as you can see right here on my artboard, we have a picture of Ilka as an archer, so this does make it a little bit easier on me uh, when it comes to photoshopping him, but we're still going to have uh, a good time making this fun and just changing this picture up a little bit. All right, so why don't we go ahead and jump into this. As you can see right here, I already have a layer right here with an archer queen in it. Um, so what I'm going to do first is, uh, let's see if we can, I just want to fill this in here um, and we are going to square off around the archer queen and then we are going to make a mask not like that <laughs> we're gonna make a layer mask on her right there so that we can get rid of everything else um, and then we need to brush around her and get rid of everything uh, are we gonna do the crown you know what? why don't we do the crown too okay so um, I'm going to go ahead and just grab the pen tool and we're going to work around this real quick. Guys, this is going to be hilarious. Uh, I hope that he likes it. I'm sure that he will. Um, I mean, I'm turning him into one of the characters of the game. This picture by itself is pretty dynamic. It looks pretty cool uh, right now as it is. But we're just going to have a little bit of fun, as y'all can obviously tell, um, and turn him into a uh, archer queen we're gonna add some purple hair to him uh, maybe tweak his eyes a little bit so that they look purple as well um, and also for those of you who know how to use Photoshop or who are learning how to use Photoshop this will be fun for y'all as well because you can kinda see the way that I go about doing things uh, when it comes to editing and things like that alright so we're almost done with this let's go ahead and get through here come on <laughs> Photoshop takes a long time guys. Uh, I asked if you all wanted me to make the video shorter and cut out all this stuff but the majority of you said no you liked it so I'm just gonna keep it long and we're just gonna hang out and talk together alright. So we're gonna turn this into a selection we're gonna select the inverse of it and we're going to fill that in with black okay. So now we're just gonna paint around her face because we do not need her face either uh, I totally forgot about that. I should just cut that out earlier. Um, but we're going to cut out the face as well. Uh, cut out the face. <laughs> Alright, so we're cutting out the face right now. Um, and yeah, but guys, I don't know if y'all know about uh, anything about Supercell or anything like that, but obviously they haven't been around for that long. I mean, Supercell or Clash of Clans is only a little over a year old and it's already grown so much I'm sure that y'all can tell on the App Store how much it really has grown um, I mean it's like the second most grossing app on the App Store which is crazy to me um, but the company is worth over three billion dollars um, and that was when the this article that uh, I've been reading was written so obviously it's worth a lot more now with all the growth that it's had um, as of lately so good job for for Ilka here at uh, being a beast at creating the company that he has um, alright so now we're going to go ahead and let's make this <laughs> alright so we gotta make this fit on him uh, we're gonna go ahead and do this and there we go now we're going to go into our filter and we're gonna liquefy this a little bit um, I know it looks weird and we can't see the background, but that's just how it works when you mess with this thing. We're going to go ahead and pull the crown up a little bit uh, to give him a little bit more headroom. Um, and then we're going to pull this out some and we're going to make this a little bit more 
uh, wavy. Same with right over here, just to make it a little bit more fun. Pull it away from his face so that we can see more of his face, and we're going to hit enter. There we go. So that already looks better. It fits his face a little bit more. Um, the crown looks a little sketchy right there, so I'm going to go back into filter real quick and just try and, and fix this a little bit. There we go. All right, so now that's fixed. Let's figure out exactly how big we want this to be on his head. Um, there we go. That looks pretty good. And let's go ahead and brush along the side. Oops. X. Let's go ahead and... I'm being a noob right now. <laughs> All right, so we're going to go ahead and brush along here. Just make this a little bit more uh, precise for you guys. There we go. And I kind of want, as you can see, the whole picture has sort of a, a blue tint to it except for his face. So we're going to add a hue saturation layer above this. Um, and let's see if we can match the sort of blue that we have going on in the background. And we're just going to connect that with this layer right here. We're probably going to put it at about 25% percent or so um, just so that it fits in a little bit um, and as you can tell there's this fire over here beside him so we're actually gonna erase a little bit on this left side of him uh, to to make it look like the fire is glowing on that hair as well we're gonna need to uh, burn his hair hopefully not catch him on fire <laughs> but we're gonna need to burn his hair or no we're gonna need to dodge it to make it a little bit uh, brighter over here like the fires on that side of his face there we go alright and now let's go ahead and brush underneath him as well right here to create a shadow from his hair on his face and a little bit underneath the hair right there and we're gonna go ahead and bring this under here bring this up there we go erase some of that and then we're gonna put that down to about 50% as well um, just to give that little bit of a shadow on his head right there. Um, let's actually move this over. There we go. I like the way that looks a lot better. Um, now, obviously, one thing that y'all know about the archer is that she has huge eyes, right? And if he's going to be the archer, let's, let's call him an archer king, okay? He just has purple hair. <laughs> uh, we're going to need to go back into filter and liquefy. And we are going to need to make his eyes a little bit bigger, right? So we're going to grab our little bulge tool and look at that. One, two. <laughs> One, two. There we go. <laughs> let's, uh, let's pull him in and up a little bit. This is hilarious. I love playing with this tool. Now he looks like a bug. All right, so... <laughs> All right, so he looks a little bit more like an archer um, right now. This is looking really, really good. Um, let's see what else can we do to what else can we do to it to make it look a little bit better I almost want to take some of this red right here um, and and brush that over the hair as well just so that we can get a good um, a good realistic as realistic as you can be <laughs> a good realistic look for all of this so um, let's go ahead and brush over there right like that um, and let's put it at like why don't we put it at about 50%? And all I'm doing is just going through the blending modes right now to try and give it a good look uh, like that fire is lighting up the side of the hair as well. Um, and we don't want it to look on the face because the face is already done perfectly from the picture in the first place. So let's go through these. That one looks pretty good. Why don't we, uh, why don't we use that one right there? for it. Um, so as you can see that looks a little bit more like the fire is is actually burning beside him on uh, is actually bes uh, I don't know, actually burning beside him so you can see it on his hair right there. Um, so that looks good. As you, you can see the little difference right there. It just looks like the fire's uh, beside him a little bit more. Uh, what else do we want to do? This? Oh yeah, we wanted to make his eyes purple so why don't we make a layer with this purple color as well and just brush over his eye right here <laughs> and right here and we're gonna go through these blending modes again oh gosh that's kinda scary 
And let's see, there we go. <laughs> that one right there is perfect. Um, and let's saturate that a lot. Yeah, so you can really see the purple eyes there. <laughs> this is awesome. All right, so this is looking really good so far. Ilka, I hope that you're not mad. <laughs> this is a lot of fun. Um, but, all right, let's see. What else do we want to do? I actually kind of want to pull his hair down a little bit now that I'm looking at it. Um, so let's grab his hair right here, and let's pull this down some just to, to make it a little bit longer. Um, we're going to have to mess with the, the shadow a little bit on it. There we go. Yeah, I like that a lot better already. Um, and then we're going to need to brush underneath it with our black again on that same layer. Oop. Not like that. There we go. Alright, so he's looking good right now. But you know what? He looks like he's alone, right? Like, what if, what if there's a whole army chasing after him? He would need some friends to help him, right? So what we're going to do now is we're going to take a couple of troops and throw them into the background, all right? So they're going to have to be real subtle. As you can see, the way the background looks, um, they're going to have to blend in really, really well and be almost like this dark blue right here, okay? So we're going to color overlay this P.E.K.K.A. Yeah, there we go. We're going to make it that color. That already looks awesome. Why don't we do maybe an overlay? No, not an overlay. Darken. Yeah, there we go. That looks awesome. All right, so we're going to put the P.E.K.K.A. in the background right there. And let's see what happens if we go through some of our blending modes with this P.E.K.K.A. Yeah, that looks good. So saturation right like that. Um, and then let's put it at about... 80 percent maybe 75 percent so you can see some of the snow on top of it um awesome all right so there's a pekka back here <laughs> that looks so good all right so there's a there's a pekka in the background right now um and why don't we grab a uh let's grab a hog rider and shrink that little guy up and then we're going to drag up this effect onto him as well and the P.E.K.K.A. is at a saturation, um, there we go, saturation blending mode, I believe it was 75%. All right, so we're going to make the Hog Rider at 75% right there as well. So they're back there, they're getting ready, they're backing up Eel Covey needs help, and everything is going to go perfectly. Um, I don't have a new picture of a dragon, so we're going to take this old one, but it's going to be okay because once we put the blending modes and everything on top of it, then you won't be able to tell that it is not a new uh, a new dragon. So let's go ahead, bring this dragon up here. Uh, I want to make that a little less noticeable up there. Let's probably put it down to like 35. So it's oops. So it's way up in the sky. The snow is falling in front of it. Yeah, there we go. That looks good. All right, so that that Pekka that dragon is up there um, and. Let's bring in a minion as well. I have a whole bunch of, of PNGs of these guys so that I can uh, do this kind of stuff. So we're going through this real fast now, now that I know what I'm doing. Saturation at 95%. Um, bring this minion up. There we go. Why don't we put a couple of minions back here in the background, actually. Some bigger, some smaller, and at different levels. Um, Put one way back here, making it smaller. So there we go. All right, so we got a whole bunch of minions <laughs> in the air as well to help protect. And you know what he needs? He needs he needs his boy. He need he needs his Barb King back here, backing him up, um, so that he. I mean, he just needs he needs it. You know what I'm saying? Like if he's the Archer Queen or whatever he is, then he needs he needs his king back there. To, to help him out. Um, we're going to put him at like, uh, not 25%, but we do need to put him, let's put him back behind uh, the P.E.K.K.A. and all of them. And let's put him at like 80. Yeah, there we go. All right, so he's going to be back behind him, but we need to erase 
Uh, this portion of him, we need to erase the Pekka portion of him, and we need to erase the Hog Rider that is in front of him as well. There we go, so that they blend together. So there's the Barbarian King right there. You can't really see, I'm going to undo what I just did with the Hog Rider, and we're going to move the Hog Rider over some, and then, yeah. And then let's actually, let's get rid of this layer mask. And let's scoot the barbarian. Let's put the barbarian king right over here, and brush off some of his arms since it would be behind the fire, like that. And then let's go ahead and pull the Pekka over to right here, and let's grab the hog rider, and we're gonna bring him up um, right in here into the fire, and we're gonna erase a little bit of him as well. I want the Pekka to probably be at about 50% now. Um, and we're gonna pull her back over that way because it is a her in case any of you were wondering. Um, so there she is. Do I have, I don't think that I have a balloon one. I'm not gonna go looking for it. Um, but you know what guys, I think this is looking awesome. <laughs> I I am gonna take the, uh, the king and put him down to about 50% as well. Now let's make him look like he's further back. There we go. So there's the king in the background. We got our, our Pekka right here in the foreground as well. Our hog rider is hanging out. Um, and we have a couple of minions up here as well doing work. But you know, guys, I think this is it. This is going to be our third episode of Clashing Culture. Uh, Ilka, I hope that you enjoyed. Thank you so much for making an awesome game that all of us love. Guys, leave a like below for for Supercell, for the game Clash of Clans, because if it wasn't for, for this guy right here, we wouldn't have this game. So thank you so much. Um, <laughs> I hope you like what I did to you. Uh, and yeah, that's going to be it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. I appreciate all the support. We're getting real close to 20,000 subscribers, guys. Um, again, thank you so much for everything. You guys rock. And as always, guys, make sure that you keep calm and clash on for me, right?